Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial. Today we're looking at the Wilcox and Signed Rank Test in Excel. So, try and go as reasonably fast as possible. So, Wilcox and, like, Wilcox and Signed Rank often used for Likert scale analysis. So, column A is the ID, column B is the pre-test score, column C is the post-test score. Column D is the difference between them, B2 minus C2, no problem there. Drag down, you know how to do that. Next one is get the absolute difference. Yeah, so that makes everything in column D positive. Yeah. Now, next thing here is, and this is omitted in a good few tutorials, anywhere where there's a tie. You know, where the scores are the same, there's a five and a half, so the difference is here. You want to remove them from consideration. So this is how I did it. So if E2 equals zero, either there or there, how do you put in a blank cell, double quotes, double quotes, comma, and if it's not zero, put in E2. So putting that up, E2 doesn't equal zero, so E2 pops in there. If I go down quickly, V5 equals zero, then put in a blank. And how do I put in a blank? Double quotes, double quotes. Otherwise, put in E5. So that's ground there. Yeah. Next thing up, sort of going reasonably quickly, I want to rank these numbers here lowest to highest. So I'm going to speed rank that average F2 in the range dollar $F$2 dollar to dollar $F$33, dollar comma 1. So to explain a little bit, I want to rank F2 in the range dollar F and what's the dollar F dollar two to dollar F dollar thirty three? When you drag down, the F2 to F thirty three won't change, and the one means the lowest number has the highest rank, and the highest number has the smallest rank. Okay, and if you could be bothered to count, there's three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15 ones. And the average rank of that, the average rank of that is 8. 7 numbers below 8, 7 numbers after 8, 1 to 15, etc. Okay, speeding along. You may think that there's an error there, but well, it's, it's grand. Why are we getting a hash value? Because we're trying to rank F5 in the range F2 to F33. And Excel is saying, well, there is no number in F5, so it's giving you a hash value, but that's all right. Uh, I did an online calculator here, and this is done, and you see they just put in NA. So if you're doing this in MATLAB or Python or R, you get NA or NAN or something like that for NAN is short for not a number. Okay. Next thing up, we want to get the pick up the positive ranks. So you see here, that's an, um, and the difference is minus one. So that would not go into column H, that would go into column I. So how did I do that? So if D2 is greater than zero, then put in G2, otherwise put in nothing. So D2. Minus one is not greater than zero, so we put in a blank. And how do you put in a blank? Double quotes, double quotes. Okay, you drag that down. Up here. Now put in the negative. So if D2 is less than zero, yeah, it is. So then put in the corresponding rank, which is eight, and that drops in there, and you drag down. Okay. Uh, step seven, you sum the positive ranks. Yeah. Sum the negative ranks. Yeah. And just as a little internal check, 56 and 80 should equal, you see here, a, a half times n by n plus one. Now, n is not the sample size, n is the, the number of entries that don't have zero, because remember, you've eliminated the zeros or the ties. So, how did I do that? Count of H2 to I33, but the count of H2 to I33 plus 1 all over 2, 
and that'll turn out to be 16 by 17 all over 2 and that is equal to 136 so that's just to make sure I was going all right step 8 calculate the size of the sample ranks yeah so as before and the reason why I know it's a repeat of this but I need this for later on when I'm looking up the relevant tables step 9 get the smaller of these two 56 and 80 yeah and you look up the tables sample size is 16 how do we know the sample size is 16 we just did the count there of all the entries with the zeros stripped out so we're looking along here so we're looking at 56 it doesn't give it but you know it's the probability is, is greater than 0.2 it's 0.22 or 0.24 or something like that don't quite know exactly okay so step 10 over here just scroll right a little bit what's the usual thing in the Likert scale the median difference is equal to zero and ha the median difference does not equal zero for a two-tailed test step 11 in most things do your conclusion and the level of significance is five percent you have to have some sort of cutoff point scroll down here a little bit as mentioned before we got 56 and 56 is somewhere in here don't know exactly but you know I don't know what it's 0 0.22 0 0.24 or 0.25 so because we got our calculated probability it's it's greater than 0 0.2 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 something like that that's greater than 0 0.05 which is the level of significance so therefore we have no reason to reject ho so in other words we have concluded that there is no difference between the pre and the post question for question one and this to be honest makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of ties and if there's a lot of ties you know there's no change and we saw there there is actually a um, two to row two to row 33 so there's 32 entries there so you know 16 of those 32 are tied so you'd expect no change okay so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening